to learn Vitaly. On this episode of Learn in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make a wild rice pilaf. It's really easy and really delicious, and I hope that you share this recipe with your friends and family. But before we get started, let's go over the ingredients. You're going to need some chopped mushrooms, leeks, celery, carrots, wild rice, basmati rice, chicken stock, or you can make this with vegetable stock, unsalted butter. You're going to need some poultry seasoning, salt and pepper, and a few additional ingredients, which are going to come in a little bit. And you're also going to need a little bit of olive oil, which I have preheated in a large shell, um, skillet with high sides over about medium high heat. Now to that, I'm going to add in my butter because I want to cook my veggies and the butter and the olive oil because I like the buttery taste of the butter, obviously. But the olive oil it just has a higher cooking, you know, cooking temperature, so it doesn't get the uh, butter to brown very quickly. So, as that melts, I can pretty much add in my veggie. This is going to be so good, and I have a few additional ingredients that I'm going to put on this at the very end to make it really festive and really delicious and give it texture and flavor, of course. Now, to my veggies, I just want to season them with some salt and pepper, and I'm going to cook them for about 10 minutes to get them nice and softened. And then in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my chicken stock and I'm going to put it in a small saucepan and just bring that to a simmer because when I add the chicken stock to the mixture with the rice, I don't want it to be cold. I want it to come to temperature. So I'm going to do that ahead of time. And also, what's extremely important to have sort of super fluffy and sort of like where the rice is like individually separated, what's super important is that you rinse your rice you know, in cold water. I'm going to do mine just in a strainer, cold water. I'm going to rinse it and rinse it until there's no cloudy water coming through. You want the water to run clear. And once that's ready, I will show you the next step. My veggies look awesome. So now I'm going to add in the rice that I washed really, really well. Give that a nice stir. Yeah. Get it all coated with the veggies. And then I'm going to pour in the chicken stock that was simmering in the back burner. You can make this completely vegetarian by, you know, using vegetable stock instead of um, chicken stock and that would be really lovely as well. Got a good stir. Add your poultry seasoning. This gives it so much flavor. There's thyme, there's sage, there's rosemary, there's tons of herbs in there that is just going to infuse this like you wouldn't believe. So now, bring to a boil, which it is, turn this down to low, cover it, and mine's going to cook for about 25 minutes. Just read the instructions on your package, you know, the wild rice that you purchased because they do vary such a lot, so you want to make sure that you cook it for the right amount of time. This is going to go for about 25 minutes, and I'll show you what it looks like once it's done. My rice mixture cooked for about a half an hour. And I'm just going to fluff it with a fork. Looks so good. I've been tasting this quite a bit, so I know it tastes just right. I'm going to put in some fresh chopped parsley. And now make sure that you do taste it for seasoning, because if you feel like it needs a bit more salt, then you just go ahead and add it. That looks good. I'm just going to put this right in my, on my platter. That looks good. I'll go back and clean that up later. Get it nice and even because we need to top this with a, a couple of addition, like a couple extra ingredients that it's just going to bring this to a whole new level. So, what I have here are some sliced almonds that I've toasted in just a dry skillet. You can add almonds, you can add walnuts, you can add anything you want to this. And I'm telling you, the mixture of the nuttiness from the wild rice and the nuttiness from the almonds is just a compliment that's unbelievable. It's really delicious. And plus, I like the texture. But now, along with all that richness, I want something bright and I want something fresh and I want something that's, again, going to bring this a dish to another level. And that's where my pomegranate comes in. I love pomegranate. I'm just going to cut this in half. I'm only going to need one of these for now. And I just whack it right over with a wooden spoon. And some of the juice goes in there, some of the seeds go on top. Oh, so fantastic. That's good for now. 
I don't want to make too big of a mess because I already have a little bit, but I mean, look at that. That just, to me, that just looks festive. Oh, I'm really excited to give this a try. So let's take a fork, put it right in there. Mmm. Mmm. That is one of the best side dishes in the world. Mm. It's simple and easy, but also still really elegant and kind of like a little bit showy to bring to your dinner guests, if you know what I mean. It's like, ooh, look at me with this fancy schmancy thing. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. Go to lartinthekitchen.com to get this recipe because it would be perfect as a side dish to your holiday table. I hope you enjoy spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.